And we've got another good one here in zone A in the finals area. As we again head down to the championship arena for a quarterfinal in men's singles. That's Ryan Moore out of the USA on the right side. His home table, of course, the Tornado. And on the left, out of France, Miguel Dos Santos Lote. His home table will be the Bonzini. Going to open things up here on the Tornado. The winner of this one would advance to the semifinals in the elimination bracket of men's singles. Miguel Dos Santos Lote, one of the best players in the world on the Bonzini table. Certainly you'd say the same about Ryan Moore on Tornado, but also two very good multi-table players, two very experienced players, lots of international experience between these two guys. This should be a good one. Best three games out of five. We'll open it up on the Tornado. Then move to Bonzini for game number two, and then alternate tables. Of course, and if we get to a fifth game, we alternate every couple of balls, and here we go. Dos Santos Lote putting it into play, goes through that high lane. He'll have the first scoring opportunity of game number one. Ryan Moore, who always gets, it seems, a goal or two from his two right. He opens it up here with a pull kick. That is such a weapon for Ryan. And he leads 1-0 here in this first game. Let's look at it again as he brought it all the way over. Look how deep he got that ball and angled it into that near corner to take the early 1-0 lead. Miguel, of course, known as a Bonzini specialist for at least the early part of his career. But more and more, he has become a very good multi-table player. He's pretty good on Tornado, pretty good on the other tables besides Bonzini, and he remains one of the best players in the world, as we said. On the Bonzini table, as you see, Ryan Moore once again find that hole down the middle. He leads 2-0 here in this first game on his home table, the Tornado. Dos Santos Lote with a shot at him up into the air and right back towards our cameras. And Ryan Moore has earned the right to put the ball back into play at goal. He has scored once from his two-rod, once from his three-rod. He leads 2-0 here in this first game. Ryan will Knocked that one off the inside wall. That one's going to spin back to Miguel. Two guys who kind of came up on the international tour at about the same time. That one blocked a bit of the air and off the table by Moore. Watch this as Ryan showed him that near side, then took it away. Both of these players kind of broke through in the mid to late 2000s in the junior division. In fact, I believe they faced each other in the 2007 Junior Singles World Championship Final. Miguel trying to bring it near side. Taken away by Moore. Ryan, who has already scored once from back here. Puts that one on goal. The winner, as we said, would advance to the semifinals. And speaking of advancing to the semifinals, Robert Atha has just moments ago defeated the great American Tony Spraderman in a quarterfinal match. And Robert is in the semis. Boy, he has been playing so well, has Mr. Atha. Watch here as Miguel tried to send it down the middle, blocked off that wall and in by Moore, who leads 3-0 here in this first game. These two players, both pretty good on the opponent's home table, but on their own table, they are world champions and among the best ever. And we'll see Miguel on the Bonzini table in that second game. Right now, he has yet to score in gate number one, trailing 3-0 to Ryan Moore on Tornado.
Here's Ryan. Looking to bank it off the inside wall. Zigzags that one up the table where it's picked up by Miguel Dos Santos Lote. And blocked back into the goal. It's 4-0 for Ryan Moore. Both these players also second generation. Watch here. That's the second defensive goal of this first game for Ryan Moore. Who is so quick defensively when you shoot down the middle. And Miguel has paid the price on two occasions here in this opening game. Of course, Miguel's father, Hervé, an outstanding player. And Ryan from goal closes it out. So Ryan Moore gets two from the two rod in game number one. And he wins it 5 nothing. We'll move over to the Monzini table with Ryan Moore leading one game to nothing after that pull kick. Talking about second generation players, we mentioned Miguel's father, Heve. And of course, Ryan Moore's mother, Mary Moore, longtime player and of course, promoter. Runs the American Tornado Tour. Ryan Moore wins the opening game as we now move over to Bonzini. And I get a chance to see Miguel Dos Santos Lote on a table that he has won world championships on when he is considered one of the best players in the world. And he needs to hold on his home table as we open up game number two. Miguel along that near wall will set up the standard pin shot. The Euro pin, if you will. You saw Ryan showing that near side, then racing out there to take it away. Let's see what Ryan Moore's approach is. Looks like he wants to shoot it from the two rod. Sets up the banks and gets a possession on the five out of it. Not the easiest table to bank on. It is certainly possible. Miguel using the left hand, and he shoots it awfully well from back here. You see that? towards the goal, then picked up here on the five by Moore. Ryan angles that one towards the goal. Ryan Moore leading one game to nothing as he won five nothing on his home table. Miguel again will use the left hand. He'll pass to the three rod or he'll shoot it. This one goes wide to the goal, then right back into his goal. So Ryan Moore with the first goal of game number two. Watch this. This shot attempt goes just wide, had so much behind it that it went all the way back into Miguel's goal. So Ryan Moore has outscored Miguel Dos Santos Lote 6 0 so far here in this match. But make it 6 1 as Miguel finds that near side. Watch it again. Dos Santos didn't take much time here. That hole wide open as he executed to the corner and now makes the steal and has a chance to take the lead here in the second game. Miguel Dos Santos Lota. Shot at the near side, blocked and taken away by Ryan Moore, who is a very smart goalie no matter what table you're playing on. And again, it looks like he's going to set it up in the center and attempt to bank. No, brings it across with a pull kick and bounces up the table where it's picked up by Miguel and then turned over by Dos Santos Lote, and Ryan Moore will have his first three-rod scoring opportunity, and he'll shoot the snake shot and fire it home near side. It's 2-1. Tony Spreadman approves of that. Watch here, the snake shot to the near corner.
Ryan Moore has come out to get two of the first three on Miguel's home table. Dos Santos Lote once again. And taken away here by Moore. Based on the fact that Miguel Dos Santos Lote lost the first game 5-0 on Tornado, you, you have to think that he understands that he has to have this game. If he loses this second game to Ryan Moore, we head back to that table where he has yet to score the match. He has scored once here, but again, Ryan shows him the hole, takes it away, makes the block, rebound, bounces back to Miguel. Another shot attempt, and there's Moore again to make the stop up into the air and off the table. So Ryan will put it back into play and goal. Watch this, he shows the hole. It gets that goalie man over there to make the block. Two one lead here on the second game for Ryan Moore. Ryan slides that one on goal. Tried to knock in the rebound, but it's Miguel who will use the left hand as he attempts to bank it. Angles that one on goal, and he already has that right hand up there waiting for the rebound, which he picks up on the three rod and will set it up, stroke it home. It's 2-2. Two -two. So the shot was on goal. He immediately picked it up, rocked, and scored it to that far corner. Two-two. And kept out nicely by Miguel. And then again, Ryan Moore with a steal. They'll set up the snake shot and look for the lead. It's one for one, shooting it so far. As he regrips, takes a look. And apparently the handle coming loose. Technique. Ryan's going to change grips. That's Ryan Moore's first time out. Get a fresh wrap on there. Moore will step back to the table and put the ball back into play. 2-2 here in the second game. One game to nothing lead for Ryan Moore, who has outscored Miguel 7-2 so far. Ryan rocks. Tried to take it out to the far side. Blocked by Miguel. Comes back to Moore. Tried to come down the middle, and Dos Santos Lote there to make the block and take it away. Nice defensive sequence there from the great Frenchman. That shot again, same as in that first game, as he uses the left hand to shoot it. It goes wide. Watch, this is almost a replay of a replay. Almost the identical play as we saw for that first goal. That's two of those. And it's 3-2 in favor of Ryan Moore. Back comes Miguel. Santos Lote looking to even it up at three, and he does. Big score there from Miguel, who has tied it up at three here in this second game behind this shot down the middle. Moore gets it through and holds on to it. Moore for the lead. Fires it home. So Ryan Moore, after winning the opening game 5-0 on his home table, now leads 4-3 here in game number two. Watch this as he brings it all the way out to that far side and pumps the fist. Pressure on Miguel Dos Santos. Lote does not want to lose on his home table. Cannot afford to. But they even it at four. And Miguel angles that one home beautifully, showing tremendous finesse. He walks it around, rocks it, and then brushes it right down the middle. With a little bit of an angle on it. We're tied at four. So a big shot there from the Frenchman, Miguel Dos Santos Lote. But 
Ryan Moore now with a chance to steal this second game. As he sets up the snake shot. Moore swings and misses here and quickly grabs it and just as quickly calls time out. American Ryan Moore will have an opportunity here to steal the second game on the home table of Miguel de Santos Lote. Some nervous members of the French team looking on. Adel Yusfi there in the center. As Ryan Moore puts the ball back into play. Sets it up. Try to come down the middle, blocked, and then the rebound stabbed on goal. Somehow it did not go in but Ryan able to pick it up on the five. And another chance here for Moore to take a two games to nothing lead. Ryan sets it up. Trying to take it out to the far side, knocked down and set right back to the three rod of Moore. Ryan getting opportunities, hoping to take advantage of one of them, but a great defensive series there from Miguel Dos Santos Lote as he keeps Ryan out of the goal. That shot down the middle with a left hand blocked by Moore. Banked off the inside wall and rebound grabbed by Moore. Ryan's fifth chance and he takes advantage of it as he fires it home down the middle and we will head back over to the tornado table with Ryan Moore now leading two games to nothing as he finds that hold right down the middle. Ryan Moore kept the pressure on down the stretch there at 4-4. It took him five shots, but he was finally able to put one in. And now we're moving back over to Ryan Moore's home table, the Tornado, where he won the opening game by a 5-0 score. Right now, you'd have to, to say that Miguel de Santos Lote has two chances to win this match, slim and none. There we are. You think they tell me before they put me on camera? Thanks, Xavier. Jim Stevens, happy to be here to bring you all the excitement of the world's greatest table soccer event, the 2019. ITSF World Cup from beautiful Murcia, Spain. Bringing you men's singles action in the elimination bracket, a quarterfinal. The winner of this one would advance into the final four. Robert Atha already there. Ryan Moore can join him with a win on his home table. And as we get game number three underway, Miguel de Santos Lote putting it into play. Able to advance it along that near wall in every possession so important for Miguel. As he sets up the standard front pin, trying to angle that one down the middle. It goes wide of the goal, and the rebound is grabbed by Miguel. On the inside wall towards the goal. Santos Lute again. That one gets away from him. Ryan Moore scored two from his two rod in the first game. And he'll get a chance to score from the three rod here. Moore aggressively walking it and firing it home. It's 1 0. Ryan Moore in control here in the finals area. He walks this one around, and then watch. He'll just kind of tuck it right down the middle. Miguel Dos Santos Lote needs some goals. He has been outscored 6 nothing so far on the tornado table.
Ryan puts that one on goal. Looking to bank it with the left hand of the three-rotted goal. And taken away here by Moore. Blocked by Miguel. Robert Atha, as we mentioned, already in the semifinals of men's singles. He would play either Olivier Kovos of France or Yanni Correa of Luxembourg in his semifinal match. And there's Ryan with a pull shot from goal. It's 2-0. Watch here, Ryan cleanly up the table and in. Ryan Moore would face either Tuan Hermans or the Canadian, Mario Yanuzzi. Tuan, of course, outstanding young player. From the Netherlands, of course. That one's going to sneak behind. You saw him put the shot on goal, and it kind of spun behind Ryan's man. So the first goal of the match on Tornado for Miguel. Trying to find ways to score. Puts that one up the table on goal, picked up by Moore, who has scored, I believe, three of his seven from goal so far. And that's kind of... Right about Ryan's average. He is so good shooting the ball back here on the tornado table. Puts another one on goal. Miguel tried to bring that pull shot down the middle. Dangerous going down the middle against Ryan Moore. He is very good defensively. That one up into the air and off the table. It means Ryan Moore will put it back into play at goal. Moore, another pull shot. Ryan Moore putting on a show here on the tornado table in this quarterfinal match. Watch this. He looks for the hole, and he finds it. Ryan Moore leading 3-1, already leading two games to nothing. Dominant performance by the great American player who has won a multi-table world championship. I believe it was in 2010. And he defeated Frederic Collignon in the final. How about that? Miguel tried to bank that one. Ryan not going to give it to him. And another one from goal. It's match point for Ryan Moore. Watch here. He keeps picking different holes. Last time he went split. This time he went long. Ryan Moore has outscored Miguel Dos Santos Lote 9-1 on the Tornado table and also outscored him on Bonzini 5-4, which is why he has a match point. That shot attempt did not go in from goal. Somewhat surprised. Yeah, a chance to win it here. Grabbed it, went with a quick one. He'll bounce it off the outside wall. Another chance here for Ryan to advance to the semifinals. As he sets up the snake shot. Another block by Miguel, trying to keep his hopes alive. But Ryan will step back to goal. Looking to put it away if he can. I believe he scored five in the match from the goalie position. That one banked off that inside wall towards the goal. That's five of the nine goals he has scored on Tornado have come from his two run. Another chance here for Ryan to win it. That quick pull kick. 
I think Ryan feeling pretty comfortable, thinking he has this one won, which can be a dangerous way to think. However, when you're up 4-1, already up two games to nothing, perhaps you can take some chances. Ryan Moore looking to join the, the great British player Robert Atha in the semifinals. Miguel. And now Ryan. Moore fires it home, so again from goal, and it's Ryan Moore who defeats Miguel Dos Santos Lote in three straight impressive games to advance to the semifinals in men's singles here at the 2019 ITSF World Cup in Mercia, Spain. 